This is the point slope proof. To start off the point slope proof, we must define our slope of m as equaling the change in y over the change in x. To start the proof, we need two general points, x1, y1 for our first point, and x2, y2 for our second point. We then want to label each axis their corresponding values, x1, x2 on the x-axis, and y1, y2 on the y-axis. The change in y is defined as the difference of y's. The change in x is defined as the difference of x's. So we subtract them, x2 minus x1 is the change in x, and y2 minus y1 is the change in y's. We then want to plug these changes into our original slope function. m equals the change in y is y2 minus y1 over the change in x, x2 minus x1. Once we have our slope, we then want to focus on putting it into the form. We rewrite the slope. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We need to multiply both sides by x2 minus x1. By doing this, the x2 minus x1s on the right cancel. We then rewrite our equation with what we have. And now we want to switch the sides. y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. The m can switch because multiplication is commutative, can be moved around. At this point, we want to let y2 and x2 be any general points, x and y. y2 equals y, and x2 equals x. Make these final substitutions and to have the point slope form of an equation. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1.